Hello, my name is Rebecca, and I work for Pharmatech Oncology. In this video, I'm going to talk about a disease state called follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lymphoma is a white blood cell cancer that occurs within the lymphatic system. The body has two types of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. There are two main types of lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a cancer that affects the B cells. While scientists do not know the exact causes of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, many types are hypothesized to be linked to viral or retroviral infections, especially the common Asian HTLV-1 virus. It seems that individuals with immune deficiencies, autoimmune diseases, and chronic infections have a much higher chance of developing lymphoma. Immunosuppression also increases the risk of developing lymphomas. It is thought that the initial step towards development of follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is an alteration in your genetics. Symptoms include the following lymph node swelling or lumps in the neck, groin, or armpit, a fever of greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, weight loss greater than 10% in a six-month period, night sweats, loss of appetite, and fatigue. Most follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma diagnoses require analysis of a small tissue sample or a biopsy. Blood tests, x-rays, and scans may be done to determine the stage of the disease. Follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma usually presents at diagnosis stage of three or four. This means the disease is likely in both sides of your diaphragm, as well as involved in one or more organs and your bone marrow. Lymphoma is the most common blood cancer affecting roughly one in every 20,000 people per year in the Western world, for which B cells lymphomas account for 80%. Follicular lymphoma accounts for a high percentage of B cell lymphomas. Most of these occur in adults over the age of 60, with equal occurrence in males and females. Follicular lymphomas are characterized by a relatively long median of survival, approximately 10 years, and a continuous pattern of relapse. These patients will receive around six different treatments for the disease. Follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is considered a non-aggressive lymphoma and represents approximately 70% of indolent or slow-growing lymphomas. The prominent approach to treating follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a watch and wait. Follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphomas tend to be sensitive to radiation and chemotherapy regimens. The following treatments are commonly used. Chemoimmunotherapy, such as CVP, CHOP, 2CDA, and stem cell transplants. More aggressive treatment options include high-dose chemoimmunotherapy, single agent alkylators, radioimmunotherapy, and monoclonal antibodies. There is not any data available that suggests one follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma treatment is more superior to another. Since investigational therapies have been shown to be effective in managing the disease, participation in a clinical trial can be very beneficial. Current investigational regimens include targeted therapies such as BCL2 inhibitors, trail activators, and histone deacetylase inhibitors. Since there seems to be an incomplete understanding of the best treatment for follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, more research is absolutely necessary. It is essential that patients are encouraged to participate in such trials to help advance the knowledge and improve the outcomes for these currently incurable forms of lymphoma. 
For more information, please visit pharmatechoncology.com.